first of all, thank you very much for your time today uh, to be able to speak about getting an update on what's happening with the Honda Jet program despite all the turbulence of 2009. Uh, again, uh, thank you very much for your interviews. And the current status of project is uh, uh, we uh, just uh, completed the structural sub-assemblies. So we completed the wing assemblies and the fuselage assemblies and the empennage assemblies and we put together. And uh, also we created integrated test facilities uh, so we can check the uh, all hardware software on ground and uh, we make sure that all LRU is working and uh, we start to install the airplane. And uh, we are expecting to make a conforming first conforming aircraft first flight uh, early next year. The selection of the Garmin G3000 cockpit, uh, one of the first two manufacturers to adopt uh, a new system like this, what kind of thought processes did you bring to that selection? Uh, actually, you know, the relationship with uh, Garmin, Honda Garmin relationship is uh, very long, more than nine years. And uh, as you know, the G3000 is a uh, you know, much, much uh, better avenue of suite compared to G1000. Uh, first of all, the pilot interface is much, much better using the IR touch screen. And uh, that touch screen gives us, uh, you know, much more flexibility for a pilot. And also, Garmin G1000 system is uh, uh, knobs and, uh, on the bezel. And uh, sometimes uh, the menu is uh, many layers and uh, sometimes may not be so intuitive. So current system is uh, much more less layer, almost no knobs, so that we can maximize the size of the PFD, MFD. And uh, also MFD incorporates split functions so that we can display not only chart, but also the tools or maps or GPS or weather even synoptics, so it's a much more enhanced capability. I really, you know, think that this offers a much uh, better um, avionics enhancement for all pilots. Where does this program stand now in regards to the schedules that you'd set? Let's say from a certification process standpoint, uh, we completed an uh, interim type certification board meeting. So that considered to be like a midpoint of certification. Uh, we are uh, about to start the structure testing, FAA structure testing. So I, I think I didn't say you know, exactly on schedule, but uh, uh, we try to catch up and we try to meet the original target uh, 2011, end of 2011. We certainly appreciate your time and we look forward to seeing this stunning airplane brought to market. Uh, thank you very much. Aero TV is brought to you by... If you own a Cirrus today or if you are considering the purchase of a new or used aircraft, consider this. Avidyne, in conjunction with the country's leading Cirrus sales and maintenance facilities, has launched the G3R9 program that combines the purchase of a late model, low time Cirrus aircraft and the addition of the Avidyne Integra Release 9 avionics suite for much less than you may have thought, and certainly much less than purchasing a brand new aircraft. G3R9, combining the best airframe, best engine, and best avionics for the best value.